Heading to Nassau, Bahamas on your next cruise vacation, you're going to want to check out Pirate Jeep Tours. Hey everybody, it's Brandon, The Weekend Cruiser, where I go on a weekend cruise just about every weekend. And that means I'm also in the Bahamas every single weekend. Even today, I am filming from MSC's Ocean Key here in the Bahamas. The other place that I'm going to, aside from private islands, is Nassau, Bahamas, where I've been almost a hundred times at this point. So I've learned a thing or two. I've picked up what I like to do and some tour companies and operators that I really respect to help you and to bring your vacation in Nassau, Bahamas to life. Now, Pirate Jeep Tours is actually easy to find. If you go on TripAdvisor, they're going to be number two of things to do in Nassau, Bahamas. Now, the experience of going on Pirate Jeep Tours is a really easy experience to find your captain. So what you're going to do is you're going to walk out of the cruise terminal. So depending on where you are, this can be a little bit of a walk and you're going to go out the cruise terminal and you're going to look for the fountain. That's where your captain is going to meet you at. For me, my captain was Captain Dark Chocolate. No, that is not his real name, but that's what he wants to be called, so I went with it. Um, apparently, that's what all the locals also call him, because he was, I found out a little bit of a mini celebrity, it seems, uh, while I was there, but everybody knew him as Mr. Dark Chocolate, or Captain Dark Chocolate, I should say. But I met Captain Dark Chocolate, and we walked a block over to our Jeep. Now, when you're booking your Pirate's Jeep store, you have some customization options you can do in your Jeep. I was fine with the way that mine came, and so I didn't do anything with it, but you can request in advance on whether you want the top to be on it. So if you want it to be open air, do you want doors and have the top on it, or do you want it to be all closed so that you can get that air conditioning and stay cool while you're in the Jeep? My personal recommendation, always year round, leave the top on. Otherwise, it's gonna get hot, and that is a lot of sun sitting in the Jeep, but the doors can absolutely come off. Um, I had some great breezes while we were there. It was a wonderful time. It was also in March when we were doing this, um, so it was kind of on the cooler side. If in the summer, it's probably a 50-50 draw if I would want to have the doors on so that the air conditioner could actually do its job. The Jeeps also come in multiple sizes. So the one that I was in was one that sat about four passengers. They have another one with an extra row that can fit even more if that's something you're interested in. And if you have mobility issues and getting into a Jeep is difficult, you can always request a lower Jeep and they're gonna have stools available for your assistant. Now, when you go with Pirate Jeep Tours, what you're really getting is not really a tour. You're getting a boutique experience custom tailored to what you wanna do. Most people though, go with their traditional tour. If you've never been to Nassau before, most folks go with their traditional tour that's gonna to show you all of the highlights. Stay tuned till the end, and I'm gonna show you, if you wanna customize this some, I'm gonna give you some thoughts on what a weekend cruiser experience would be if I was customizing my trip um, or my tour with Pirate Jeep Tours to fit me and what I like to do. But the good thing is, is you know, the first thing that Captain Dark Chocolate did with me is ask me, what did I wanna see? What do I want to do? He knows his island. These are, this is where he's from. And so he's able to say, do I like history? Do I wanna grab a drink? Do I want food? What is it that I wanna do? I wanna to go to the beach. And he can custom and tailor design what my three hours are looking like. So when you sign up for Pirate Jeep Tours, you're basically getting a driver and a Jeep for three hours to do whatever it is you want. The traditional tour is gonna to cover highlights. And let's go over what those are gonna be. The first place that you're gonna go is the caves. One place that I had never been because it is not walking distance from the cruise terminal. And so it was really neat to go there for me. You're gonna to go to, or go by Cable Beach. You're gonna to go to the Queen's Staircase. You're gonna to go to Fort Fincastle. You're gonna do Greycliff Chocolatier, John Watling's Distil Distillery, and maybe even the cigar company um, at Greycliff. This is all gonna depend on how quickly you move. So if you are a slower group, you might not make it through all these in three hours. Now, all these places that you're going to go to is filled with history. And so they call themselves Pirate Jeep Tours because a lot of the stories that they're gonna tell you focus around pirates. Um, hey. But it doesn't have to. Um, it just depends on what you're into. If you go, look, at, like, I don't like pirates. They scare me that, you know, it's kind of, it's not a fun experience for me. They don't have to talk about pirates. They know the history of their island and of their country. They're actually, they go through two weeks of training, I believe, just to be a tour operator to make sure they know the stories and know the history. So you're gonna have a good and consistent experience. But those tour guides that are well-trained, I got to run into three or four of them because we were going to some of the same places as the other Pirate Jeep tours. 
they're the ones that really make this experience. So yes, you're gonna see the caves, you're gonna see Greycliff, you're gonna get to do a lot of amazing things, but your tour guide, your captain, is the one who's gonna bring this to life. And for me, that was Captain Dark Chocolate. He was humorous, he was funny, he told amazing stories, all rooted in education and the history of the Bahamas, which was really, really neat. But on top of him just educating me on his country, he also talked about his personal life. And so we got to know each other and I got to see a glimpse of what it's like to live in the Bahamas. Now here's the tips and tricks part of this video. If you're looking at Going Pirates Jeep Tours, here's what you need to know. The first thing, they're charging you per person. So if you are one person, if you're an adult, you're gonna pay $154. If you are two people, you're gonna pay double $154. If you're five people, you're gonna pay five times $154. So this can get expensive if you are a larger party, but for those of us that are solo cruisers, $154 is a very good price. So I don't have to tour the island by myself and I've got a tour guide in my own private Jeep. They're gonna offer two different tour times that you can choose from. Now, if you're coming in on a weekend cruise or a normal cruise, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're doing the 10 a.m. tour from Pirate Jeep's tour. If you select the 2 p.m. one, you're not gonna get back to the port till at least five o'clock, and chances are your all aboard time was well before then, and you're gonna miss your ship. So make sure you're doing the 10 a.m. tour with Pirate Jeep Tours. You're also gonna to wanna to inquire on what is the easiest way to see the Queen Staircase, as well as Fort Fincastle. There's a lot of options here. So if you don't wanna walk, um, you don't wanna go up those stairs and maybe you don't wanna go down the stairs, you can talk to them and they can do that how you want. The other thing in talking about traffic, if you were there on a Sunday like I was, you're gonna be able to get a lot more done. Traffic in Nassau, it is a religious country, they don't have that much traffic on Sunday, and so you're just able to make so much better time on Sunday than you are the rest of the time. So again, you get three hours to do with it how you can, traffic is gonna play into that. They're also going to provide you chilled water, which is something that I took advantage of, and they also are prepared for whatever it is you wanna do. If you are going by Cable Beach and it just looks so beautiful, and you're like, can I please just go stick my toes in it? They're gonna let you do that. They will let you get into the water, enjoy the beach. Heck, if you wanna stay there all three hours, you can. Um, but the good thing is they're gonna have towels for you. Something that I didn't expect. I would think we need to bring them from the ship, but this is a high-end boutique experience. Now, if you're listening to this and still curious what that weekend cruiser experience is, for those of you that know me, it's gonna be around food. So again, you can take your tour wherever you want. They've got the traditional one that's gonna give you the history and the highlights. But if you go, hey, I want the weekend cruiser version of this, it's gonna be a lot more focused on food, something that is near and dear to my heart. And Nassau and the Bahamas actually has some food that is original to them that you can find that is off the beaten path and is more of a locals establishment. The first place that I'll recommend that if you can talk to your, your captain and say, hey, can we do this? It's called the New Duff. And so Duff is actually a um, sweet dessert that you can get only in the Bahamas. And the restaurant is fantastic. They have a lot of healthy wraps and shakes and things like that as well. But what they're known for is their Duff. You've also got the Bahamas Rum Factory. I am not a rum cake person. You all know that I do not drink. And so I normally stray away from Bohemian Rum Cake because they can be so overpowering with rum. However, the Bohemian Rum Factory, um, it's not that bad. It's actually more cake with a hint of rum in it, not the opposite, which I personally just can't do. I feel like I'm breathing fire. So it is a solid spot and you can get dropped off there and then walk back to the ship if your three hours is coming up. The other thing that you can do is go over to Goldie's Conk House. This was Captain Dark Chocolate's favorite restaurant in the Bahamas, and he goes there weekly, and they already know what he's gonna order before he walks in. Fantastic conk that you can get. It's actually on the way to the coves, it's over at the fish fry, so you can maybe grab something there, take it with you, or order it, go to the coves, come back, and it'll be ready when you get back. Pirate Jeep Tours is an amazing way to see Nassau, Bahamas. It's gonna give you their history, their culture, and allow you a glimpse into what its life is like living in the Bahamas. So if you've never been to Nassau before, or even if you have, give it a shot. Get off the ship, sign up with Pirate Jeep Tours, and see Bahamas maybe in a new light. Even if you don't wanna sign up with Pirate Jeep Tours, make sure you're checking out that self-guided walking tour. You can break it into sections. It's not gonna come with all the bells and whistles that you're gonna get with Pirate Jeep Tours, but it is a solid solution to give you an overview into what Nassau Bahamas has to offer. All right, everybody, this is Brandon. 
thanking Mr. Dark Chocolate for giving me such an amazing experience on Pirate Jeep Tour, and I hope to see you on a weekend cruise soon.